double. Come on, Sharon, I'm watching for my double. He said, you stay here, and, and I'm going over here to Jericho. He said, no. No, 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 no. You're not going to Jericho without me. Amen. Come on, shout hallelujah. Can I get three people to shout? You ain't going to Jericho without me. Come on, shout. You're not going to Jericho without me. I'm going with you because I'm watching for my double. I'm going to have to keep my eye on my double. Amen. I cannot afford not to get what God got for me. I'm staying close on to you. Hallelujah. Amen. The sons of the prophets, in verse 5, that were at Jericho came to Elisha and said unto him, and isn't it funny, the same thing the other guy said, knowest thou not that the Lord is going to take away thy messenger from thy head today? And he said, yeah, I knew it, but hold your peace. Once again, the prophet is saying, look, don't start talking to me about this and that and don't start telling me what I already know because, listen, I got to stick close by here and I got to keep a watchful eye on the man of God. I got to keep a watchful eye, amen, on my spiritual father, amen, because I don't know what God is getting ready to do and I don't know at what point the blessings are coming in. Now, if I mess up at the wrong time, y'all not going to help me, praise him, but if I lose at the wrong time, amen, I just might miss. God help me. Elijah said to him, huh. say what he had to say to the people, because see what you're missing in between some of these is that what Elijah actually did when he got there. Huh. And that's why in my study, I began to look at this real hard and the Lord began to quicken me and let me know that perhaps maybe Eli Elijah was really encouraging the sons of the prophet to let them know it's going to be all right. Amen. And the same spirit that's up on me. Come on. There's something getting ready to take place. Hallelujah. And you're not going to be left without a spiritual father because here is Elisha, my protege. Here is Elisha, my son. And if you watch, amen, it's like the first son. Right, right. Jesus. Oh, oh, yes. Thank you, God. So he said, he, he, Elijah, he told him what he had to do. And Elijah said, Terry, here in verse 6, I pray thee. For the Lord has sent me to Jordan. He going to the big place now, y'all. He said, the Lord hath sent me to Jordan. And he said, as the Lord liveth, and, I, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. Elisha did not care where he was going. He just knew you're not going without me. Somebody say glory to God. He said, and as the Lord liveth, I will not leave thee. And the two went on. Now here's a different picture here. Okay. Here's a different pi picture. You didn't have the sons of the prophet that met him there, uh, you know, and began to tell him about, did you know your dad? Did you know your father was leaving and all? He didn't know. This time, something else happened. The Bible said the 50 men of the sons of the prophet went and stood to view afar off. They went afar off. How many know there's somebody watching you from afar? Come on, you ain't saying nothing in here. Tell your neighbor somebody is watching you from afar. And say, you ought to shout this, say, keep on watching. Because in a minute now, you're going to see me get a double portion. Because in a minute now, while you watching, you're about to see me get blessed. Come on and keep watching from afar off. Amen. Watch me on Facebook. Come on. Watch me on the YouTube. Because in a minute, you're going to see me get blessed. Somebody show how they look at the see something right there with those eyes of yours. Somebody shout in this house. Come on and shout in this house. You don't have to shout if you don't have one. I understand. But those of you that got to shout, shout in this house. Come on, shout. I'm watching for my double. Come on, shout. I'm watching for my double. I can't keep missing out on this and this and that. Ain't it because you're going to fool around and accidentally miss out on your double portion. 
me today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There, were, there they were watching from afar off. And they too stood by Jordan, Elijah and Elisha. And Elijah took his mantle and he wrapped it together and he smote the waters because he wasn't getting ready to dive in and swim across. He smote the waters and they were divided hither and thither so that they too went over on dry ground. I got some news for you. Look at somebody right now and say, that's the same miracle that happened at Exodus. That's the same type of miracle, hallelujah, that can happen for you right now. Because God is ready to divide something for you. God is getting ready to open up a pathway for you. Something you could not get through. Somebody lift your hand and say, God get ready to open something up for me. There's a door coming open. There's a river coming open. There's something that's going to open up for you and cause you to walk in. You might have at least three witnesses in this house. That's going to lift up your hand and say, I'm ready. Amen. I'm ready for my hither and thither. I'm ready right now for the parting of this situation. I'm ready. Jesus. Come on, come on, come on. Somebody better shout before I do. I'm ready. I'm ready, Lord. And those guys were still watching this from afar. They saw this miracle. They saw him take that mantle of his. They saw it. And they saw him take it and just Slap the water. Somebody shout, it's not going to take you a lot to get your miracle. Oh my God. Tell somebody, it ain't going to take a whole lot to, to get your miracle. See, the devil have been telling some of you that it's real hard, it's real strenuous, it's real difficult. But I can hear the Holy Ghost say, you just going to have to hit it once or twice. You just going to have to hit that situation once or twice. Somebody shout, get ready to hit it once or twice. Because in a minute now, you're going to have an opening. Amen. And you will be able to walk in. Thing. Oh God, I just heard something right there. Look at your name and say, you got the power to tap. 